Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Tonight Show. Oh, my name is Jimmy Fallon. Give it up for the roots. I gotcha. <laughs> Let's get to the news and news. Now, I'm yeah. the captain. <laughs> Let's get to the news and jokes. Well, guys, the Democratic convention is over. Yep, after four nights, a message finally popped up that said, your Zoom session has expired. <laughs> but everyone's still talking about President Obama's big speech. He did not hold back. Watch this. Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. I did hope, for the sake of our country, that Donald Trump might show some interest in taking the job seriously, that he might come to feel the weight of the office and discover some reverence for the democracy that had been placed in his care. But he never did. He has shown no interest in putting in the work, no interest in treating the presidency as anything but one more reality show that he can use to get the attention he craves. Ouch. Obama might have quit cigarettes, but he's still smoking. <laughs> Trump's phone heard of that and was like, oh boy, it's going to be a long night. All right, uh, can someone throw him in the toilet, something? Man, it's like Michelle hit Trump with the it is what it is clothesline and then Barack finished him off with an elbow from the top rope. <laughs> That's right, Obama broke an unwritten rule about former U.S. presidents not attacking a current U.S. president. Obama was like, oh, come on, I, I didn't say anything about Vladimir Putin. <laughs> That's right, Obama went all out and said Trump hasn't grown because he can't. Meanwhile, Trump heard that and was like, wrong, I took a pill that makes me grow just fine. <laughs> Obama also accused Trump of not taking the job seriously. At that point, Trump was so mad he could barely sink his putt into an empty Pringles can. <laughs> then Obama accused Trump of turning his presidency into a reality show. Trump was like, wrong again. Now send five people into my office so I can decide who to fire. <laughs> Meanwhile, during Obama's speech, Trump started live tweeting in all caps. By the end of the night, the imprint of Trump's phone was burned into his hand like the bad guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like, <laughs> but as I said, after four days, the Democratic convention wrapped up tonight. They knew it was time to end the convention when the calamari finally went bad. No. <laughs> The theme of the night uh, was America's Promise, which I'm pretty sure was taken from a supermarket brand of butter and cheese. <laughs> Do you want to get the, should we get the craft singles? You want to get America's Promise? <laughs> and yet also somehow America's Promise sounds like an adult diaper brand started by Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was America's Promise. We make the promise to Here's a uh, big story today. Another one of President Trump's close associates got indicted. Let's see who it is. <laughs> Former Trump campaign senior advisor Steve Bannon has been arrested and charged with fraud by federal prosecutors in New York. He and three others are accused of orchestrating a scheme to defraud donors out of hundreds of thousands of dollars that the donors thought were all going to help fund the president's border wall. Yep, Steve Bannon was arrested and placed in the Trump's well wishes section of the prison. <laughs> That's right, another Trump associate is going to prison. At this point, the White House softball team and the prison softball team have the exact same lineup. <laughs> I don't know, maybe these charges are nothing. I mean, does Steve Bannon look guilty to you? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he definitely does. Oh, just so you know, by the way, that's how he looked before he got arrested. He looks like someone you find sleeping in the bathroom stall at Margaritaville. <laughs> he looks like an unemployed Martha Washington impersonator. Oh. He, he looks like a guy who yells at little leaguers when he doesn't have a kid on the team. He looks like every composite photo of what Elvis would look like if he were alive today. Uh. Can we see the picture again? <laughs> he looks like every guy who's ever tried to sell me a jacuzzi. He looks like every guy at the hotel hot tub who sits way too close to your wife. He looks like every man who's ever walked into a Ferrari dealership. Yeah. He looks like his home address is the swim-up bar at the Mirage. 
<laughs> That's the one. Come on. No. That's the one. Uh, well, guys, here's some good news out in Colorado. You can now buy weed out of a vending machine. Take a look at this. And you think you freak out when your Kit Kat gets stuck in the machine. Oh, come on, man. I need that purple Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, a group of... <laughs> I, I don't know my weed names at all. I don't... Are you, you good? Is it pretty? That sounds I've like never, one. Heard, I've never heard of purple Twilight. Oh, then you never heard of anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> You got, you got your purple twilight, you got your, uh, your OG Kush, you know. <laughs> you got your, uh, you know, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a group of researchers in Finland said that they discovered a cure for hangovers. Everyone's like, yeah, there's already been a hangover cure. It's called more booze. <laughs> Actually, good news, they just tested it out on Steve Bannon, and look at him now. We have a great show for you tonight.